Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the Draca cage, Joseph Bear. And here comes the Honey Badger. And One of our favorite fighters. You've covered him before. I've seen him before. I've, I've, Jay, I've followed Joey Bear for years, uh, all the way back to his respect his earned days. Uh, great amateur background record. Uh, Caleb McAllister, another uh, Virginia professional fighter in his corner. Uh, this kid is good on the ground. He's got stand-up. And, and Jay, his opponent and Alan Stevenson and this fight could be the sneaky fight of the night right here. This is a matchup of champions of Fight Night Challenge, a local promotion here in Virginia, and I am so looking forward to this event. Accomplished, experienced, these guys are as good an amateur as you're gonna see in a state that is so strong in amateur MMA as Virginia is. I'm with you about Joey Bear. As nice a guy as you will meet, you look at his body type, you wouldn't necessarily say, well, here comes a wrestler, but boy, he's got some wrestling skills, he's got long limbs, he's got some submissions, and uh, dangerous standing up. Wrestling skills and sneaky strong, as you said, by, by the uh, slight display, doesn't look that way, but he trains with uh, guys like Caleb McAllister every day, uh, one of the top professional fighters in the state of Virginia. So this is his uh, this is pro debut tonight, so we'll see what we uh, see what we get from the Honey Badger. Cannot wait, this is a matchup. Him and Steven said, I've been looking forward to this one. I saw this one on the card. Oh, this is what I'd pay for. Well, this speaks volumes for this Draka 15 card. This is the second pro fight of the night, and this could very well be fight of the night. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. Joe, a bit about Joe's personality. Quiet, unassuming. One of the nicest guys, and it's funny because his opponent, Al Stevenson, also a super nice guy, but a bit more of a showman than Joe. A little bit more. Joey, also a, a very artistic young man, got his own watch line. He, he's, he's a great kid. And his opponent, Alan Stevenson. Alan the showman that we talked about. Always the showman. He is the first professional mixed martial artist out of Goochland, Virginia. How about that? Mike Stanley, the, the head coach over there, great gym, turns out some tough cats. You and I were talking about this matchup before on what free time you had, and I might give the edge of the stand-up to Alan. What do you think? Well, you know what? Alan has, has held, obviously, MMA titles. He's held Muay Thai titles. He's uh, got great kicks, trains, cross trains at MMA Institute here in Richmond, Virginia as well, training with those killers. Uh, really a well-rounded fighter, uh, as is Joey Bear. So that's why that's why we say, Jay, this, this fight could be a fight of the night. Again, uh, Alan's pro debut here with Draka. About to send it back to Mike Markham, the best in the business. The following bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds of a lightweight unified rules and mixed martial arts. Introducing first, the man standing to my right and fighting on a blue corner. He stands six feet tall and weighed in at an even 156 pounds. He is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu specialist. He makes his professional debut inside the cage tonight, fighting out of Lynchburg, Virginia, Joseph the Honey Badger Bear. His opponent stands across the cage to my left and fights out of the red corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, his official weight 155 and 1 half pounds. Also a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu specialist making his professional debut inside the cage tonight, fighting out of Goochland, Virginia, Alan H. Ray Stevenson. Your referee, Scott Howard. I feel like the pro game's a little bit better with these two guys in it. 24 and 25 years old, just getting started. Very exciting. Great to have such good, uh, good mixed martial artists here in Virginia making their debut against one another. The only bad thing is somebody's got to lose. Somebody does have to start out their pro career with a loss, and that is unfortunate.
They're making use of that reach. Stevenson really good at moving, really good at working his angles. Interesting the Bear was introduced as a BJJ specialist, especially uh, with the background in wrestling that we discussed earlier. Um, again, uh, alluding to the fact of how well-rounded he is in his mixed martial arts game. Indeed. Showcasing some great kicks in this fight so far, Jay. Yeah, work at changing levels, using the jab. Not necessarily the Joe Bear I expected to see, but it's fun to watch. Fun to watch. Both guys still kind of feeling each other out. Gauging that distance, getting that range. Bear is finding that range with his kicks. Yeah, doing a really good job using his jab to establish and keep that range where he wants it. And Bear has taken the center of the cage, center of the cage. So that's uh, important in the eyes of the judges. Oh, great head kick by Bear. Jay, he is setting these combinations up with, with deadly precision. Yeah, Stevenson just not looking comfortable yet. Some, uh, some redness, a little swelling on the inside of that just above the knee on Stevenson. Well, and you got to keep in mind, again, both these guys making their professional debut under the dome here in uh, the Richmond Coliseum. And, you know, it's important to get out and get that confidence early. You know, you're going to encounter that adrenaline dump. You're going to get that every time. So you've got to get out. You've got to make your game. Uh, take, uh, take that cage over and, and just uh, fight your game. Absolutely. As experienced as these two guys are as amateurs, now it's for money. Nice counter nice by, Stevenson. by Stevenson. One, two, right down the pipe. Another counter punch from Stevenson as Bear takes a knee and springs right back up. Stevenson seems to have found the timing a little bit better. Like again, as we said earlier, just going through that feeling out process, Stevenson looks a lot more comfortable right now. Accidental shot. Stevenson's going to get five minutes to recover should he need it. Allen looked over to our broadcast berth, smiled, and said, ow. Jay, I think this is normally where Joe Rogan would come in and talk about a steel cup and the benefits, but uh, we're not going to do that tonight. We, we know it hurts. Yeah. Everybody at home knows Everybody it hurts. Everybody knows it hurts. And while I think there might be one or two fighters who use it as a tactic, I think they're the exception, not the rule. And I don't think either one of those guys is in this cage right now. Stevenson definitely timing that jab a little better, like you said. It appears that Allen was using the first half of this round to get a sense of Bear's rhythm. He seems to be finding it. Well, what that what they give Stevenson is if the jab is connecting, that's that's giving him the ability to set up those kicks, as you just saw right there. Yeah, absolutely. Great combination by Stevenson. Bear's starting to work that lead hook a little bit. Nice inside leg kick by Bear. Jay, in a close round, as, as this round one is, you've, you've got to wonder when, when Bear, with that wrestling background, looks to, to get the nod in the eyes of the judges and, and maybe shoot in for a takedown. Yeah, late takedown, sure. He can steal around that way, absolutely but content to stand so far. I think if you were to look at the two fighters' faces right now, you would score it for Bear, but it's close. Very close fight. Another good short shot from Stevenson. Bear works for the guillotine. Hey, 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 hey. 
Ten seconds left in the round of a very close round one. Don't envy the judge's job. I think I'd give it a bear if I had to. Bear started strong, he ended strong. Stevenson came on in the middle of the round, really got, uh, started finding the range with the jab, with the kicks. Too close to call. So go to the replay. Bear trying to establish that distance, keep his range. And there's that short little left. Tough to tell if that was a slip. The lovely Nicole tells us we're getting ready for the second round. Two terrific MMA teams that these young men are both a part of as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Some of the some of the best in the state again. Renaissance Academy of Martial Arts in Lynchburg. It's a small gym, but they have got some some beasts. Some again, I, I can't uh, Caleb McAllister always comes to mind. And Eight Corners MMA and MMA Institute, where Stevenson trains. Great up-and-coming fighters in their own right. Bear coming out again in round one, uh, round two, similar to round one, setting up those kicks. Stevenson showing a lot more aggression than he did in round one as well. And now it's Stevenson that's taking the center of the cage and is pushing the action. And if you took the under and take down attempts for the first round, you're a happy man. <laughs> Not only Jay are both fighters really doing well with their uh, instigating blows, but they're they're doing really well in the counter game as well. I couldn't agree more. Allen is really starting to land some counters. Counters always hurt more. <laughs> tribute to both these fighters and their gyms. You mentioned the adrenaline dump. That happens. Pro nerves happen. Both these guys look as fresh as when they first walked into the cage. Was just going to comment on the level of cardio of both of these fighters. And that, and that to me, Jay, shows the, uh, a true professional. The professional that's in the gym every day, doing what you need to do to succeed in this sport. And these, both of these guys do that well. Coach Mike Stanley instructs Stevenson to follow with a right, and he does. Nice kick by Bear, but looked like Stevenson uh, was able to block most of that. Another good leg kick from Stevenson. There's that Muay Thai background we were talking about, Jay. Big, strong, thick legs with Stevenson. Those kicks hurt. <laughs> Indeed. Nice left jab by Bear. Paid for it with a yeah. leg kick. A lot of improvement that we've seen. Bear's jab is oh, another good leg kick for Stevenson. But Bear did a beautiful job of establishing the jab in the first round. Stevenson working a little bit better off in this round. And again, a, a testament to Joey Bear. We know he's got the BJJ. We exactly. know he's got the wrestling background. He's in this cage right now showing us that he has stand-up. Absolutely. And clearly both fighters, that's the game plan. Keep it on his feet. Jay, looks like fighters... Uh, 
Both fighters may be tiring a bit. Looks like there's a little less steam on, on some of the shots. A little bit, but good pace out of both good fighters. Pace. Good Good pacing, good marshalling their energy. Little cut under Stevenson's right eye. Fast right from Bear. Fast hands out of Bear following up that kick. Oh, nice right hand and then take down defense out of Stevenson. Snap the head back. Bear snaps his head back with that jab. A-Train needs to move that head if he's going to come forward that way. Jay, you could tell that earlier shot from Stevenson hurt, uh, hurt Bear a little bit because he, he tried to shoot right in for that takedown, unsuccessfully, of course. But that's usually a sign of, uh, of a shot that uh, had a little bit behind it. Exactly. A little mustard on it, as they say. Ryan, if you're in the corner for both of these fighters, what are you telling them now? What are you telling Bear? What are you telling Stevenson? If I'm in the corner of Bear, I'm 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 saying get a takedown. Let's get this fight to the ground. It's 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 close. It could be one to one. It could be two rounds to none. Who knows? Get it to the ground. <laughs> both fighters showing some appreciation. Nice little takedown. The first first takedown of the fight at the second round horn. And I think uh, I think Bear was laughing because he had he felt pretty good about that guillotine, and then there was the horn. He saw it. He wanted it. Here, I think we're going to see the end of the round takedown right here. First shot of the fight, unfortunately, could do no more with it as the ring bell sounds. But did that cinch the round for Stevenson? Very well may could have. No fighter likes to leave it to the judges. And even in the pros. Whereas so both, yeah, you're right, Jay, and, and both fighters having a great performance tonight, showcasing their stand-up, but nobody has, has taken that next level step, in my eyes. Uh, and, and maybe the judge's eyes as well. So again, if I'm in Bear's corner, I'm, I'm telling him get the takedown. Own this round. But then again, Jay, that's why I'm here with a headset on. <laughs> we have the easiest job in the building tonight. Stevenson's hands dropping lower than they've been in the whole fight. I hope that's by design. He may be trying to bait Bear. They're opening him up, opening up some counterpunching opportunities. Just a slip by Bear. Good sportsmanship shown by uh, both fighters with the touch of gloves. Yeah, Stevenson's movement is looking really crisp. Looks like he wants to, to set up with that jab and, and feed a, a head kick right off that jab. Again, Jay, no, no fighter trying to, to take the dominant round, to, to have the dominant performance to solidify this round and solidify this fight. This fight is too close. Ryan, you're reading my mind. Both guys may be thinking too much. They both know what they want to do, and nobody's pulling the trigger. Here we go. That outside leg kick from Stevenson starting to tell on Bear a little bit.
Time becoming a factor as we approach the end of the third round. Jay, I think Joey heard you. He, he let in with a couple <laughs> kicks. Looked like you, uh, you hit the on switch with him there. Nice inside leg kick by the Honey Badger. Bears trying to string together some nice combinations. And there's another big leg kick from Stevenson. Just under the two-minute mark in this fight, Jay. Nice combination from Stevenson. Good head movement. Strong shot to the body. Another great kick by, uh, by Stevenson. Nice inside leg. That front leg of, of Bear has got to be hurting at this point, Jay. He's taking some damage over Absolutely. these three rounds. Absolutely. Nice heavy combo. Heavy hands followed by another leg kick from Stevenson. Really turned his hips over really nicely, Jay. Really got that power behind it. Stevenson still respecting that jab from Bear, but boy, doing some damage here in this third round. 35 seconds left in this, what has been a fantastic fight. That hurt. That hurt Bear. The Bear's got about 10 seconds left to work. He's got to make something happen here if he wants to take this decision. <laughs> Heck of a fight. And this was the second fight of the night, Jay. Incredible. <laughs> Great respect for both fighters. What a pro debut for both these young men. Cannot wait for the rematch. If you were to judge this fight by facial lacerations, you'd give it to Joey Bear. But Joey's, Joey's going to be limping for a couple of days, I think, with those leg kicks out of Stevenson. Partner Ryan is in the cage right now, and neither he nor I have any idea which fighter he's going to be interviewing. Here's Stevenson trying to close Bear out, end of the third round. Big right hand. Looked like it landed flush. Bear's got a good chin. Bear trying to counter, but Stevenson closing the distance. Something nice Stevenson did there. He kept his posture even while moving forward. That's hard to do. Lean forward a little bit there at the end, but boy, he was throwing some good straight power shots. We'll see if it was enough to win him the whole fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecards for the final decision. Clark Walters, Brian Costello, and Rick Anderton all score this bout 29-28 in favor of your winner by unanimous decision, Alan Atrin Stevenson. Close fight, but unanimous. 
It's Alan Stevenson does his victory dance. First of all, Richmond, let's hear it for both of these fighters. What a fight. But I am here with your winner, Alan A. Train Stevenson. Alan, first of all, if you know anything about Joseph ba Bayer, you know he's got a great ground game. Did you expect him to come in here and stand up all three rounds with you? Um, uh, yeah, I figured he was going to work on his stand up um, because he's all, like really good on the ground. But I figured he was going to try to bait me in and then eventually shoot on me. But he stood the whole time. My face feels like it's messed up. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> In a close fight like that, what does your corner tell you going into a round three where it's extremely paper thin close? He's like, just watch the takedowns, keep moving, and just keep doing what you're doing. I figured I won the second round, and I, and I know I lost the first round, so I had to, I guess, hit him more times than he hit me in the third round. <laughs> now, you told me this week you wanted to uh, let everybody know that you wanted to put Goochland on the map. You are now 1-0 one, one and oh as a professional fighter. You think you accomplished that tonight? I do, and I want to give a shout out, I gotta, can't forget this, to Mike, Mike, and Jeff. You know, I did most of my training out at the power station in, Su in Surrey with Jeff. And uh, Robbie is the best fighter in the world. He told me not to say that. And Rip McCoy and all of them at Jank Road MMA Institute for getting me ready for this fight. And uh, I can't thank you enough. Thank you. He's your winner, Alan A. Train Stevenson.